What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Off the Rails. My name is Mark. With me always is Dave. And as you may or may not know, Off the Rails is a recovery podcast dedicated to ending the stigma of addiction through open discussion on all things recovery related. Um, we are two days late on this episode. So first yeah. and foremost, sorry. Life's been busy for the fellas. Yeah. Yeah, a little delay. We're recording on a Tuesday, which is uh... normally our release day. Yeah. But uh, we wanted to make sure we at least got something out there for, uh, even if it's a couple of days late. We've had a couple, of busy, oh, oh. couple busy weekends over here. Dave, yes. tell us about yours, buddy. Or do you want me to go first? Yeah, you can go first. I only, my, yeah, you go first. Okay. Um, well, my dad came to visit, so uh, I'm busy doing family time. Um, he brought up some lobsters made me very nostalgic and being home and uh, had a great feed of those. Um, while eating the lobster, it was, um, it was fucking amazing. It, it yeah. Was, what? I didn't realize he brought those. Yeah. It brought me a lot of happiness, brought them up in the cooler, cooked them the night before. And uh, it was huge. Brought up some lobster, crab, and a little, little thing of mussels. So, I can't wait to dig into those. Wait, so he did he drive? No, he flew up, buddy. He cooked up the lobsters, put the lobsters on ice in the cooler, shipped them up on the plane. Genius. Oh wow. That's a it's a, it's a power move. What a move. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were debating if someone along the security line was gonna steal the cooler. Because lobsters are delicious. Yeah. Big lobster guy? No, oh my God. not a seafood, not a seafood oh, wow. but I respect, I respect the hell out of that, that game your dad has. Yeah. Wow. Was, yeah. I got a story about a, a hitchhiker I picked up with a cooler. I can tell you oh, sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Was, what well, was in the cooler? Because this could be bad. This <laughs> has the making of a horror story. Well, so let me tell you real quick. <laughs> yeah. So I pick yeah. up this guy. So I, this wasn't too long ago. So I pick up this guy on the side of the road. Uh, I was hitchhiking, and uh, he's got a cooler on him. That's it. So just a cooler. So jumps in the car, sitting there. He's all kind of like fidgety, antsy. I can't believe I didn't tell you this story. And uh, I'm like, he's all fidgety. I'm like, hey man, what's in what's in the cooler? And he's like, none of your business. I was like, what? What uh, kind is my business? Yeah, me. like you're in my car, or whatever. So then I keep driving a little bit, driving a little bit, and he's kind of like he picks up the cooler from the ground, puts it on his lap, and I'm like, "Hey, man, like, what's in the cooler?" He's like, "None of your fucking business." Is like, that what you said? Yeah, I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah. So we're driving along, driving along, and then he asks, "He's like, can you stop? I got to take a piss." I was like, "All right." So I pull over to the side of the road. He gets out, takes a piss, and he puts the cooler on the on the chair. So I'm like, this is my chance. I just, boom, booked it, took off with the cooler, left him on the side of the road. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> what was in the cooler? Not your fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, I bit on it. Yeah. That was good. It's funny, I just, that was fresh in my memory because I told that joke on the weekend. Yeah, you got me good that time. Fuck. I was fully in on this story. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Man. Yeah. So, the rest of your weekend? Oh, I'm flustered now. I just got got. <laughs> um, the rest of my weekend was good, man. Um, had brunch with uh, my dad, Rebecca, Mila, and the in-laws. And went in and did a little shopping Sunday. Got some uh, Costco runs in. Nice. Back to work Monday, buddy. I was the only person there on Monday. Um, so that was a first. Oh, really? Yeah. So uh my boss and my other coworker left. Well, my boss left early and uh my other coworker's out of town, so it was pretty cool. That's all right. Yeah. She just handled it was like a normal day, you just handled everything on your own? Tried to. Yeah, nice. That's my ability. But yeah. it's good, man. I'm really uh I'm really enjoying work. Nice. How was uh how was last last week uh work wise? Good man. Um had a good week last week. Got to uh, go bang some chain in the form of frisbee golf. 
Yeah, nice. Always enjoy a bit of that. And uh yeah, man, it's really picking up. A little paintball? Oh yes. Got to play paintball last Monday. That was deadly. Nice. I am I only got shot once. And uh I'm pretty good at paintball. <laughs> See, key is you gotta buy a lot of paintballs. <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, and then just on. let it rip. If you're conservative playing paintball, you're ending up shot. Were you? Was it outside, outdoors? Yeah, I oh, just camped good. out. Camped out. Soon as someone pop. Outdoors is way better, bigger. I I went last time I went was indoor, and there was like way too many people in this course, and I was like actually like legit scared. I just hid behind the thing the whole time because yeah. every time I moved, it was like da, da, da. I was like, oh my god, it's reaching over. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, I would always wait for them to come to me and just kind of camp out. But I also like to, I take it a bit seriously because uh, I would like to think that if for some reason I had to go to real war, um, I would try not to get shot. Yeah. Right? And, yeah, and uh, you get some training and if you do have to go yeah. to real war. Yeah. And uh, to me, it's like if you get blasted in paintball, like, eh, well, you'd be dead. Yeah. That's kind of how I look at it. It might be a dumb way to look at it because it's only a game. But uh I prefer to not get shot. That's my thing. Yeah. I only took one in I only took two in the arm. They're the same, same thing. So I probably I might have been able to walk away from there. <laughs> yeah, you would have been fine. Yeah. Yeah. And the other team played uh in uh skins. So they all took their shirts off and played, which was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Why? Yeah, they were like, come on our team. I'm like, absolutely not. You just have welts and stuff after? Absolutely. They were covered in welts. Oh they were getting God. mad when they got shot. Like, you're like, it's your own fault. That's that's wild. Yeah. It was fun though. Good time. That's good. Yeah. I was like it. So overall, pretty good week, man. Nice. Dad's still here. We're going to uh we're heading to BC on Thursday for a little day trip. Is that uh, you decided? Yeah. Yeah. Neither of us have been there. So we're going to cross over, go to the border, go to Fernie. And uh, should be a little, nice little trip. That'll be awesome. Mm-hmm. And Saturday, I got to go speak at a detox, buddy. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to go cool. share my story for NA. It's the first uh, hospitals and institutions meeting that I've set up. So a bit nervous. But uh, it'll be okay. You got a nice week uh, coming up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that drive, that drive from uh, Calgary to BC is on my list. I would really like to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, um, you come over here, buddy. We got, I got you. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to do it. Absolutely. Yeah. You know where I live. I do. I don't know how to get. You drove. I don't know how to get there, but I can yeah. figure it out. I'll get you. Just come in the area. I got you. Yeah. So Dave, tell me what else is new. How was your weekend? You went to a wedding. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just get into that. That whole that whole thing. Um besides that, yeah, work and everything was uh was fine. And then I went to a wedding down in Toronto. I left Thursday, stayed at my good buddy Jason's on Thursday night, went down to Toronto Friday to my sister's place, saw saw them quickly uh i went out for dinner with my buddy who's getting married and his brother friday night um and then the wedding saturday so first and foremost the wedding was phenomenal very uh very honored that he asked me to attend as it was very it was really small there's like 18 people it was um basically like his immediate family his sisters and brother and their yeah. significant others and her side and their parents basically so the fact he asked me to go was was uh you know very uh very nice very nice of him but um and the wedding was great it was a very it was a very small uh venue it was a nice little place in new yorkville toronto um nice restaurant called Allo. i think it's Allo bar and then Allo saloon so it was like a michelin star restaurant very nice mm-hmm. uh that being said uh it was a lot more difficult than i thought i think um because i felt really comfortable in my sobriety uh leading up to this i didn't think really too much about it as far as like having a tough time at all uh, i thought it was going to be 
easy. And, uh, you know, like, so early on in the day, I went to the, I went to the hotel early around 10 o'clock, hung out with him, his brother, his brother-in-laws and, uh, his dad and, and the, and the bride's, uh, dad. And, um, you know, it wasn't too bad. I just kind of hung out. We had brunch, they had drinks, like whatever. I was fine not having a drink and like mentally was okay. And I just found later on, like going to dinner and then towards the end of dinner, that's when it started to get really taxing on me mentally. And, um, and then, you know, I don't know for people that haven't been in that situation or maybe they have, like, for me, it's like, it's not like, I want to go grab a drink and just down it. It's like, it's more like the mental part of it that I wasn't prepared for where it was like the, the romanticizing about alcohol and people like having a good time, I, you know, having, you know, started dancing a little bit after and the like the FOMO of you, you feel not just like at that time necessarily of like that wedding, but like it starts, I just found it kind of playing with me, mentally I was like am I missing out should like is this the right thing to be doing and it's like you can try to play the tape through and stuff but it's like when you're kind of engulfed in it it's like yeah. it just kind of runs through your through your head a lot right so uh I found it challenging and so I ended up I ended up leaving and he and my first of all my buddy is awesome because he's like are you gonna be okay with all this like he's super supportive and like um asked me throughout the day like even when I was at the hotel like sent me a text like you good like so he awesome that way. So around nine 30, I end up, I just kind of took off, went back to my sisters and, uh, I, like I said, my goodbye to him and his wife and, um, kind of peaced out, didn't really make a big scene of leaving, but, um, anyway, yeah. So that was kind of, uh, I have one thing to, to add sure. in there. Yeah. 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 And it's interesting. Cause like to play the tape through there is tough because, when euphoric recall right is like recalling those good times right it's not like accurate of what drinking actually would look like for you yeah it, but that's a really tough situation because like you're in that like like those are like the good times you recall right like yeah. you know like partying at a wedding or you know dancing or whatever right so yeah. it might be a bit more difficult to play the tape through there when you're like it's fucking right here right yeah no good yeah exactly yeah and uh yeah it's bang on you mentioned i guess i talked to you the next day and kind of i wanted to kind of talk to somebody about it and whatever and you, you mentioned that and it's a really good point and i think it's a good point for for anyone that's like maybe you're gonna be doing something like that um just to be kind of more prepared i guess like I went for a walk right after dinner. I went for like a walk down the little outside or whatever by myself. And I'm like, kind of took, gave myself like 10 minutes. And then I went back in and I was still like kind of uh, edgy or whatever. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm, this is it. Like I'm going to take off. So um, yeah, I think all in all, like I handled it well as far as like leaving, but like even my drive from, because I drove down and parked my car there, like even my drive from there to my sister's like 25 minutes. And like, like in my head, I'm thinking like, just going over, just going over, like you start doubting yourself a little bit, you know, like, absolutely, I don't know, but yeah, it's like, gotta, yeah. Cool. yeah. I got I got one more question, but what were you going to say? No, I was going to, sometimes it's a bad, maybe it's a bad analogy, but like, it's a, it's, you know, I would do this sometimes I'm guilty. I don't know if anyone else has, but like when you're in a relationship, it's like going, it's like going to like a singles. It's almost like going to, going to hang out with a bunch of like really good looking singles and then being like, oh yeah, like I can have any of these girls I want. And then if you were actually single, that's not the case. It's kind of like doesn't happen that way but that's not actually that's not the reality of the situation no it's not the reality so that's kind of like i'm not saying they're the same but it's like it's kind of the same like Good put yourself yeah. put yourself in that position like oh yeah i could do this but really that's not reality like yeah that's a really funny comparison yeah <laughs> um dave i had a question about like 
so like it's an uncomfortable situation to be in anyway right like where you're turning down and be like no i don't drink whatever um so it was already uncomfortable did you find was there anyone there who was like who's you know supportive of your sobriety but was also like trying to make you feel comfortable but in doing so actually making you feel uncomfortable like um so my example would be like someone trying to be like hey are you like hey you doing okay like type thing like in front of everyone yeah 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 you know what i'm saying yeah. i don't i don't want to like single like i'm not trying to single anyone out or anything like that no no no, no one really did. Like my buddy Joe, it was, it's funny because like, I don't know, like some people knew and some people didn't. So like my buddy Joe, mm -hmm. knew, but he didn't share with like everybody, but like his sister, Kate, his sister, Caitlin, like I've been close with over the years. So she knew cause she like, we have, we know each other, like she follows me on Instagram, whatever, but, but his brother didn't know. So like when we hung out on Friday, I told his brother and I told him everything and like, yeah, kind of like because yeah. there's three of us and shared and like he was like super supportive and like oh that's great whatever and then like so then like the next day like caitlin i know caitlin knows but then like her boyfriend doesn't know so like i was hanging out with her boyfriend and um and then his other brother-in-law and like he didn't know so they offered me a drink and and not knowing and i was like no no thanks whatever but i think after a while when i wasn't drinking they probably maybe clued in because i didn't drink all day but no one really uh so it was interesting because like some people knew and then even like um someone from the other side kind of said that they watched the part i've seen the podcast um Sick. her mom her yeah her mom her mom Sick. said she'd seen it so Sick. like so she would have known and i think at one point she had like she asked like she tried to get me to go kind of dance it wasn't like a dance floor but there's a little dance area yeah see this is this is what i'm talking about that would make me very uncomfortable yeah yeah so like she she like kind of tried to you know pull me up and uh i think she just could see that i was like not that i wasn't enjoying my i probably looked like i wasn't enjoying myself because i wasn't dancing and i was like just very i was at the point where like i was about to leave so i was like i was mentally i was just kind of like fucking all over the place yeah so she tried to like get me get me involved and stuff like that and which is great like i appreciate that but at the time i was like no i'm good i'm good kind of thing um but uh, yeah, it was nicer, and that's something I would have done when I was drinking. Is like try to get people like involved oh, yeah. who probably doesn't don't want to be. Yeah, like so. I would do the same thing for yeah. sure. I always did that. I always did that. So no, but she was super nice, and everyone that was there was all like, like my sobriety, like like the the whole stuff, like has nothing to do. Like the people that are there were just really really good people. It's like, just a difficult people. situation to be in. Yeah. Yeah. And his family, like his parents like treat me like, like, like part of their family over the years and stuff like that. So um, they're just awesome people. Her, her family is super nice. So like, yeah, it was, then I wonder, you know, my last thing was um, it being a small wedding too. I was like, oh, this will be, my thinking was, oh, this will be easier. But I almost think like a big wedding, you could kind of almost hide a little bit more yeah. and the small wedding so was a small table, space. Like, like, yeah and if i had someone with me if i had a, a date then it maybe it would have been a little easier to have that support too i was kind of like you know yeah solo so mm -hmm. anyway it's my that's my ramble i'm glad you made it through it man i'm proud of you yeah thanks buddy me too me yeah. too um and another thing is it's always really nice when friends invite you to their weddings jared Right. Yeah, it's nice. It it's is a nice, nice feeling. It is great. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Look for well, speaking of speaking of weddings. Uh, you guys Hello. have any? Hello. You guys will be getting a, you'll be getting a card in the mail. Oh, really? So you've got some plans. I was wondering how the plans we were got going. some tentative plans. Nice. We're making that guest list, you know. I like it. All right, buddy. Um, it's ice cream night here. Yeah, I love it. So should we wrap this episode up? Short, sweet. Happy, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. How last thing? How how the workout's been? You've been good. Uh, consistent. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good. What about you? 
Uh, I'm getting back into it. I've been a little inconsistent over, I would say, the last couple of weeks. Gotten some in, but I, I'm, I'm more of a, I almost want to go, I want to do every day. So if I'm only doing two, three days a week, uh, it's not good enough. So getting back, get, get started off the week right and going to keep it going. Shit, yeah. Buddy. Okay, that was the last, that was the last thing. All right, guys, if you were someone you know is struggling, please reach out and ask for help. Myself and Dave will do whatever we can. And I hope everyone has an amazing Thursday. Thanks for listening.